Hello everybody, it's me Ellie from Access Press Themes. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure some of the widgets area that in your home page. So let me show you the demo side and show you which area I'm talking about. Well, this is the section I'm talking about that is with this icon and text. And these four footer areas, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So let's start with this section. So for that, log into your WordPress. Then go to appearance and go to widget as all these sections are going to be configured from widgets so this is the area that is ap promo widget 3 where we're going to place this ap icon text widget so simply click it and drop it there now let's configure this that is you need to put a title Then you need to put a content. Well, I'm going to get my dummy text from here. Then you have to choose an icon. Any icon which favors you. Then put a read more text. And a link. Just copy the URL. And uh, place it there. After this, you need to choose a style. Well, in this version, we don't have the variation in the style, so all the icon text will appear in the same style. But in next update, we're going to bring these four styles too. So you can choose any style, then save it. After your first widget is saved, let's close it. Now again, drag another one and place it there. The process is same, like we have done for the first one. Put the text, select an icon and put a link. Then save it. Now let's put one other that is third widget and do the process. Copy the link, paste it there, and save it. <clears throat> now, after all the three widget setting is saved, now let's go to our front end and see how will that appear in our website's home page. Now, this is the website we are working on, and uh, this is the section which we just configure with the icon, text, and a read more button, which will take you to the link pretty simple actually so the next area which we're gonna configure is footer area 1 we're doing same as in our demo site so for this footer area we have used call to action widget so we have to click it and drag it to footer area 1 now you need to put a title like any title you want I'm going to put my theme name, then you can put a small description, maybe phone number. Or email address. And so, then you need you can put a button text there too. And you can also enter a font awesome class to show and uh, you can put a button URL then you need to save it now let's go to our front end again and see how will that appear in footer area 1 in this way it's appearing in this way with the link and everything 
So the next thing that we're going to do is configure this footer area 2. Well, in footer area 2, we have used email subscriber widget in our demo site. So the same widget I'm going to use here. Here, put it to footer area 2. Well, this is the plugin that you need to install and activate and after this, this icon will appear and you need to just configure by going to setting, all the settings there. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to write widget title. Then you can select if you want to show, display the name field and write a small description if you want to. I'm going to be putting a small description there and click on save. Now let's again refresh our front end and see the change there. You can see this email subscriber widget on footer area 2. Now let's configure footer area 3 where we're going to use widget access press tweet slide. This is the widget we're going to use. And uh, put a title there. Sorry, this is not the widget we're going to use. We're going to use Twitter. Put a title. Choose a template, then you can display a follow button and save it. Now let's see this one on footer area 3. Now you can see this, you have your Twitter feeds here. Now the final widget area is footer area 4 where we are gonna put pages widget here to make it look like a demo site. Choose pages and click on add, then put a title, and you can uh, show your page by title, order or ID, then click on save, now let's again go to front end and refresh it. You can see here we have four footer areas with four widgets and this section with icon text block. So in this way you can have this look like same as in our demo site pretty much. But you can also use other widget here and make your website look uh, as how you want it to be. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring these two sections. Thank you very much.